Back to WDHN Daytime. Happening this spring, the Tri-State Community Choir will be performing here in just a few weeks. So to tell us more, we have two members with us this morning, Ms. Alex Schneider and Scott Smith. Thank you very, very much for the both of you coming in today. Thank you for having us. All right. So just tell the folks at home when this show is happening and then, of course, where it will be. Okay. The Tri-State Community Choir is presenting a concert on Saturday, May 13th at 7 p.m. at Covenant Methodist Church on West Main Street. All right, so if someone has maybe caught some of your old shows in the past, how would this one stand out and be a little different from what you guys done prior to this? Um, this year we are doing um, a concert called The Heart of America, which is a heritage of American music. So we're going to be performing four different genres of okay. American folk music, spirituals, poems, and ending with Broadway. <laughs> there you go. So in terms of preparing for this show, obviously, Everybody, especially in music, you have your own background of what you maybe specialize in. When you guys all come together, how fun was it to kind of, you know, mix all these genres and kind of test out who does better what it means? <laughs> it was a tremendous experience mm -hmm. to get together with the approximately 80 to 85 singers mm -hmm. from across the tri-state area. And we are led by a variety of directors who all bring their different styles and perspectives to music. Mm -hmm. So we, I as a Amateur, <laughs> have learned quite a bit uh, about technique as well as styles of music. Awesome, and I'll throw the same question to you as well, Miss Alex. Well, I've grown up. I'm a music teacher, yeah. so I'm surrounded in music all the time. But it still amazes me. I'm still learning new things. I love the challenge of learning difficult pieces. Uh, I may look at it at first and be like, ooh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this, but once it clicks and we get it and everybody choir wide gets it, it's awesome. Awesome, and so you said you're an amateur, you're a music teacher, so you guys have basically people with zero experience to mm -hmm. as much as you yes. could possibly have yeah. in music. Is that a challenge yes. at all as you guys prepare? It's a tremendous challenge for people <laughs> like me, yes. But as I said, our directors and our artistic director, Laura Grace Holmes, has brought together musicians from mm -hmm. across the area mm -hmm. uh, who bring skill sets that are unbelievable. And their ability to teach, like Alex does, oh. has been so helpful. Uh, everyone has pitched in and recognize where others' strengths mm -hmm. may lie, as well as their need for development. And they've brought us, brought us along very nicely. That is awesome. So if someone wanted to learn a little more about this specific show, but then also just what you guys are in the Tri-State Community Choir, where could they go online? Um, they can go to facebook.com and type in the search bar, Tri-State Community Choir, or they can go to facebook.com slash let us sing now. Um, and they will be communing directly with me because I'm the social media go. person. So if they have any, if they want to get in contact or just have any questions, um, they can contact me directly through Facebook. Awesome. And is there, it's free admission, correct? I yes. That part right? It's a yes. free concert. And gotcha. that's something that we've always been very pleased to be able mm -hmm. to provide the community. We've done different types of concerts in the past. Unfortunately for the COVID years, mm -hmm. we, were, we were prevented from yeah. doing so. So this is our first time back since we were uh, shut down, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we are, the Tri-State Community Choir is a nonprofit, so we do rely on sponsorships as well as donations. Mm -hmm. The choir members themselves uh, provide some of the mm -hmm. funding, yes. uh, but we, we also are always looking for benefactors to help us with uh, expenses. Mm -hmm. Gotcha, and I assume you can go to that Facebook page and get in contact with you guys. Yes, they, they can send out. a message directly and then uh, I will get back with them with the information. All right, well we're just 